So here you can kind of see it a little bit better as I put some torque on it. Now it's quite separated. So I just have some final thoughts after our day skiing at Heavenly. I would say for the morning groomers, the conditions were actually excellent. They, they were really nice to ski. And while this season is nothing like last year, I believe, you know, Heavenly is doing a great job with what they have available to work with. And what... Well, good morning. It is Friday, January 19th. Uh, and it's an exciting day because Bree is joining me for the first time this year. Uh, we are just gonna probably go for a quick morning mission up to Heavenly to kind of check in, see how the groomers are this morning. The, you know, there was one storm midweek that maybe had a, an inch or two, but there was also some rain. So I'm kind of curious to go back to some of the same locations off piste and see how that's looking. Um, it's also going to be an interesting weekend because we have storms rolling through this whole weekend and Unfortunately, the storms have been downgraded a little bit But it looks like between now and Monday night we could have up to two feet on some of the higher peaks uh, Around Heavenly, but for sure down at, at Kirkwood and Sierra at Tahoe All right, Bree, so it's your first time back up the mountain. Uh, it's no longer mid-January. We are heading towards the end of January. And what are your thoughts on the snow conditions? Wow, there's not a lot. It's just such a stark difference from last year. I, yeah, very much so, but I'm happy to be here, so hoping to enjoy it. Yeah, it should be a nice morning. How was your first lap? It was really nice. I forgot how pretty the views are. You kind of start to take it for granted if you're doing, you know, up here every day of the weekend that you can be and whatnot. But man, it's super pretty. Um, so if you watch any of my videos, you'll know that at the end of that last video, I was talking about my binding having issues. I thought I knew what it was, but I definitely was very wrong about that. And I was very lucky not to hurt myself on it and found the problem getting a replacement part but in the meantime I decided it was to get a, it was time to get a new set of bindings that I can feel more confident on at least for my groomer days so anyway I'm on a new set of 22 designs outlaw X bindings and just to be clear their service team is amazing they responded immediately to the email and the picture of what was broken and within 24 hours they've shipped the part to fix those bindings so shout out to 22 designs
All right, Bree, it's now 11 o'clock. How are you feeling? Are you getting some telly turns in? I have been, and my thighs are feeling it. Yeah. <laughs> They're burning. Yeah, first day out on telly, you oh. are toast pretty quick. But anyway, even it's... Downhill. Yeah, Just even here. downhill. Um, but it's actually really nice. The line, lines over here on the California side on a Friday are basically none, which is amazing. Hey, Bri. It was amazing. We skied for about two and a half hours only, but with that, my legs are toast. <laughs> we didn't really stop. Um, but with it, yeah, it was perfect. And with it, I guess it's hard to end it with this year either. It was that way. Good day out. So I just have some final thoughts after our day skiing at Heavenly. Uh, the website says they are sitting at 67 inches for the season total and the base is at 35 inches. I believe the season total, but the base seems even less than that. But I would say for the morning groomers, the conditions were actually excellent. They, they were really nice to ski and we skied for about two and a half hours and it was just lovely. And while the season is nothing like last year, I believe, you know, Heavenly is doing a great job with what they have available to work with and what they've been able to open up. So we're just happy we can get out and enjoy the slopes. <laughs> 